guys, today I'm going to show you my airsoft mine. So this is actually this was actually a real mine that was used in the war. So I'm going to show you how it works and now I'm going to, I'm going to disassemble it. So these are the three main parts. The body of the mine, the trigger, and the mechanism that fires the mine. So the first thing I'm going to show you here inside is a blank bullet. So I use 9mm bullets here, like this one. The bullet inside that is inside was fired. So the first thing you need to do is to get it out. Outside. The first thing when you are arming this mine, you need to put this little strike needle inside. You need to really push it hard with a little screwdriver that needs to pass through this hole. This is actually the hardest part of arming, arming it. Okay. Now it is armed and ready to use. But the first thing, now I'm going to use a fired blank because I don't want to use it today. You just need to put this inside. It's a 9mm nine nine millimeter hole and you need to Gently press it in. Okay. You put the mechanism here. And we screw this back on. So it is now armed. You can use this mine as a step on mine, like like so. When you press it, when someone steps on it, it it will activate. Or you can make a quick mine because this mechanism goes all the ways. And when you, when someone trips on the mine or steps on it, it takes about four, five kilos to activate it. I don't know if you're going to hear the click, but here it goes. And the mechanism applies force to this, and it fires the bullet is inside so this mine is used for uh, how can I say sorry for my bad English this is a sound mine generate generate sound if I don't know what are the rules in your countries guys but in my room in my country the rule is that everybody in in the Five to ten meter radius is is that when they got hit by this. So, if you want me to make a tutorial, actually, it's not a tutorial, but if you want me to make a video of this mine firing, you can comment on it, and I will make one video of this mine firing. It's pretty loud, but it, the first thing is when you are assembling it, <coughs> you need to uh, really put it to a post or something. But it needs to be about five to ten centimeters above the ground because this is the main place where the sound comes from. So there are little holes on the mine, but they don't work as well as this one. So. When I put the mine, I usually put this like this and tight, real tight. I use it almost every time like a quick mine. So, I hope you guys like this video. I showed you something new. So, so like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.